What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon, the crypto universe. Today is Friday, June 2nd. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin NFTs. More specifically, we're going to be talking about collections that I think have promising value, meaning that you have a great entry price to enter into these ecosystems, something that is affordable. Because again, on this channel, we want to show people what potentially you can actually get strong ROI, also known as return on investments with your Bitcoin NFTs. Now, with that said, please keep in mind, this is not financial advice. This is just my own opinion, just for your own entertainment. So watch all these different NFT collections in our review as educational purposes only. So with that said, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So I did mention that on our Patreon page, we do talk about these Bitcoin NFT alpha calls. So if you don't know, back on May 9th, I did announce that we were going to see some really crazy new meta action within Bitcoin NFTs. And one collection that we did cover was Bitcoin. Bitcoin frogs. Now I'm going to share with you a link on the upper right hand side of when we were reviewing Bitcoin frogs. Bitcoin frogs at that time was trading around 0 0.0001. That's roughly around $50 to around $70 per NFT. That is crazy. Now guess what the floor price of that NFT is? That price is now 0.07. Bitcoin. So that went from $70 to near almost $1,900 to $2,000 per NFT. So this is crazy. And also we saw that the total trading volume within the Bitcoin frogs was roughly around the 60 to 70 Bitcoin level. Now it's at 362 Bitcoin level in total trading volume. That's multi millions of dollars. That's crazy. So as you can see, on our Patreon page, we called it out. So I want to share with you, not my alpha calls, but something that's on my watch list, something that I'm thinking about aping into. So let's go ahead and cover those collections. What is the very first NFT collection? Well, that is called Nakamoto Whales. Now, Nakamoto Whales was able to inscribe on the Bitcoin blockchain at a very cheaper price because now everybody's inscribing, also creating, you know, Bitcoin NFTs or BRC20 tokens within Bitcoin. So what that's done is that it's kind of limited the amount of space for people to really inscribe anything on the Bitcoin blockchain's layer two solution. So right now, Nakamoto Whales being as early as they did, they were able to get 788 NFTs on their actual Bitcoin blockchain. So that's really crazy. And also it's not really cheap for people to do this. People can spend millions of dollars, even thousands of dollars just to have a few to hundred or even a thousand or 10,000 of these NFTs on the floor. So right now we're seeing that the price is around 0 0.06. But the thing is, I think that this price, even though it's a little bit higher in terms of its cost, roughly around 16 to $1,900 per NFT at the lowest price, even if it's that expensive, I definitely think that this actually has a staple on the Bitcoin blockchain meaning that it really is one of the leaders that started this whole trend. Now, it may not be the first NFT to start this trend, but it's definitely one of the first NFTs on this new era of Bitcoin's NFT ecosystem trend. So right now, whales are a certain thing. People want to see whales. We all know that whales are a big part of what NFT culture is. If you accumulate a lot of NFTs and you're a whale yourself. But that's why I think that really this NFT that's originally from Solana that's inscribed now on the Bitcoin blockchain is something that I would not ignore. And keep in mind, people are paying high price dollars. Like So say for instance, you can find some really cool gold ones, but people have spent back then 3,736 US dollars. So that's quite a bit of money, but people are getting a limited edition rarity of this specific NFT. Not only that, let's talk about this one. So Brandon made up a really good point. He said, just want to remind everyone that Nakamoto whales are the home of the uncommon 2009 vintage Nakamoto and the famous pizza sets, special sets will start to become more and more important soon as collectors start to hold them and not release them. Don't fade the whales. Now let's talk about the second collection. That's going to be Megapunks. I've talked about this collection before. Now this price has actually jumped up from 0 0.006 to even 0 0.012. That's crazy how fast that really happened, but it has taken a dip back, it's withdrawal back. So we're seeing that the only total trading volume of this is around five Bitcoin, but again, when you see low trading volume like this, you have to look at the research on their Twitter page because this is the whole point of buying in early. You want to buy in before people get into the hype. So you have to go on their Twitter page to understand what the hype is. But right now, this is what their NFT collection looks like. There are PFPs that look to the right and they're pixelated. But also if you go to their Twitter page, 
This is what they said. They said that you may heard that the Binance will soon list Bitcoin inscription ordinal NFTs on their website. And Binance is one of the largest exchanges or the largest exchange across the entire world. And with that said, if they start to open themselves up to the NFT ecosystem within Bitcoin, then that could attract a lot of different new wallets in their holder base to get exposed to the Bitcoin NFT blockchain. So if that happens, that's going to be really great because they have places all around the world, such as Dubai, Singapore, the US, even Europe. So that'd be really crazy if this were to happen. But also, if you actually go to their Megapoint page, they have some really great memes and artwork that definitely replicates their style, their, their mission, and also the look, the tone, the feel. So that's something I really dig about their actual Twitter page, that they actually are active in retweeting people who actually buy into these NFTs. So keep that in mind. That's my second NFT collection. Let's talk about the third one. The third one is called Bitcoin Bear Cups. Now, this is fairly new in my point of view, meaning like I've just recently found out about this. It says that there's around 39 Bitcoin total trading volume. So that's pretty good in my opinion. I don't know if this is manipulated, but it doesn't really matter. I'm looking at that trading volume and I'm looking at this floor price in 0.005, not a bad entry point. It could be around $100, maybe even $200 for all I know. But look at this, people are actually buying it. That's why you're seeing these loading buttons. So when you see these loading buttons, that means that people have already bought these NFTs and it just kind of takes over 24 hours for that transaction to just go through. It does not mean that you know this is pending and it'll, you know you could possibly lose your NFT transaction or purchase. It doesn't, it basically just says that it's just taken forever for it to actually be registered on the Bitcoin blockchains layer too. As you can see, it's not even available. So that just goes to show you how this actually works. So this is a collection that I'm keeping my eye out on. And also keep in mind, they actually did just recently sell out on their actual minting on the Magic Eden Bitcoin marketplace. And as you can see here, a lot of the artworks are pretty cool, but also we're seeing sales up the wazoo. We have 0.4 Bitcoin purchase of this specific rare uh, Bitcoin bear. And this was around 13,000 US dollars. Even further down, we actually have a few other ones. We have one that was sold for 0.12 Bitcoin around 3,300. Another one that was sold for 0.2 Bitcoin around $6,400. So obviously this isn't going anywhere. And I think that for that purchase price for literally 0.005 Bitcoin, it's not a bad idea. So keep that in mind. That's on my watch list. Now, the last one I want to share with you is fairly new because it just minted out today. This is called or is hero. Now this is a new collection. This is just happening. They just had their minting phase 0.006 in terms of Bitcoin price and a total trading volume of around three Bitcoin. Now this is what the NFTs do look like. And as I said before, it definitely did just mint out. So if you see this on the market floor, do your own due diligence. Again, there's only 777 of these on the actual floor that are listed. And if you want to buy any of the rare ones, maybe that's a good time to actually look out for that, right? So keep that in mind. Now you've seen my favorite Bitcoin NFTs I'm seeing right now on the charts. Now, I'm not gonna let anybody know what I'm actually buying into. I'm only gonna let my Patreon members know on the link below. So check that out in the descriptions if you haven't joined our Patreon page just yet, because I cannot wait to connect with everybody and share with you what I have bought. And with that said, be sure to like that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls and buy and sell orders on both NFTs and cryptocurrencies, especially on Bitcoin. Until then, see you guys and girls next time.